Welcome to another video and today as you can probably tell right behind me I'll be reacting to um, Hang on give me a sec. Yeah, I'll be reacting to uh, Hello Studios is really first episode of Australian Magic if you guys haven't been aware and everything or you guys probably most likely be aware that yep Hello Studios is officially back, so this pretty much shocked me and everything. I'm like, oh my god. I know some of the old channels have come back, like Mimi Stars, Hello Studios, of course, and probably some other ones. And um, yeah, so yeah, I'll be reacting to the whole entire video of this, and also including the credits as well. So yeah, uh, it's also been a while since I last did uh, um, a reaction video. I say since uh, I think my last reaction video, or well, just like my first two reaction videos, was LPS Aces um, series of Experiment 42. And I think the last one I reacted to was I think the teaser trailer and the, the actual episode of uh, LPS Popular by Sophie GTV. I think that was like two years ago now, I think, for, for the both of them. And yeah, since I'm literally running out of ideas and stuff, but I am trying to get videos out weekly, so yeah, although it hasn't been all that great and stuff, I'm still lacking of inspiration. Well, the motivation, that's a whole different story because I really do not know what my motivation is, like literally, but I do want to try and keep my channel going as for as long as I can, and I find that really difficult right now. And yes, yeah, so I have had a few uh, channels and stuff that I have gone and it's making me so, so, so depressed and it feels like I want to leave myself. But to be honest, I really don't want to leave anytime soon because I do have plenty of ideas for series but not so much for individual videos, like just like skits or anything. But I do have a few ideas written down, I think, for just like skits, I think. And there's a few collabs I want to do with some of my YouTube friends and stuff and yeah, we'll just have to see how things go, so yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this set reaction video because it's been a really, really long time since I reacted to anyone's videos, so if you guys have any suggestions, I should probably do, I, I think I'll most likely do mostly MLP and LPS videos, not so much anything else, but I might react to maybe some Doctor Who stuff because I really do love Doctor Who to bits, like literally. <laughs> Anyways, um, I hope you guys enjoy and um... Yeah, I'll see you guys in my next video. So let's start reacting to Shonen Magic Episode 1 The Beast of Morrowood. Okay, let's move over here. <laughs> Whoa, this is really good setting, most definitely. Hang on. Ah, that's a little bit better. I see. Oh, this is seriously giving me View in the Beast vibes. I knew it all along since I started watching this. Definitely representing the Enchantress. Are you guys with me on this? This is uh, representing the Enchantress. Jealousy. A bitter, broken being. One instinct to destroy like a beast. Let this be known to you. I don't think the Enchantress ever said enchanted words. Yeah, you just cursed the prince and then that was technically it. Like, that is just weird. Your hatred will be your downfall. Well, I think that was Fuzzy Studios. Yeah, I think, yeah, she's really good for, for this role. You picked well, uh, Hello Studios, if you're watching this. You picked really well. Oh, they're so good animation. I wish I could do stuff like that. I took visual design classes and stuff way back in high school, but we didn't really do stuff like this. It was more like doing stuff like pictures, like pictures for calendars or something, but never art like this. That's Beth. That is so good. Why can't I do something like that? Like, oh my god, I'm feeling so jealous for you right now. Hello studios and whoever you work with, I feel so jealous of this. <laughs> like seriously, it puts my uh, um, videos and stuff to shame. Like, I'm just being honest here, because that's one thing. 
I just feel really jealous about how good this is. Oh my god. They're really putting all my videos to shame. <laughs> Extraordinary magic. Yeah, I knew straight up that this, well, a little bit further on, I knew this was a Beauty and the Beast sort of vibe sort of thing. I'm like, yes, this is most definitely. I knew straight up for an instant. And so I'm planning this a month in advance, so about, about that. I just like staying ahead of my schedule. Yeah, let me try this out. Don't worry, Molly. We're almost there. Hang on just a little bit longer. Poor Molly. I was thinking going back to sticks again or wires or something. Yeah, although I did get pretty annoyed with wires and stuff, but and then I went back to hands. But I'm thinking maybe sometime down the line for my videos, I might try and start using the sticks or something again. I don't know, make it a little bit more professional. Until I get annoyed with it again. Oh, this is so well done. Oh my god. I thought I was good at doing this. Molly, what happened? No, doing what sets like this. Molly, well, sort of. She needs your help. Here, let me see what happened, Molly. A scratch. Oh, poor thing. Yeah, I'll be reacting the exact same way if I ever got hurt like that when I was still little. But I'm a big girl now, so yeah. I can see that. Will she live? <laughs> Don't worry. You'll be just fine, Molly. See, Molly? Everything's okay now. <laughs> oh, it's so sweet. <laughs> I was getting emotional when it comes to like emotional things where like I want to cry like literally I do you two were brave to come all this way well when Molly got hurt I knew I had to take her to Marwood's best healer there's nothing I wouldn't do for my little sister <laughs> she's lucky to have such a strong older brother mm. there how's that Molly feel better yeah <laughs> <laughs> thanks Miss Beth wow your cottage looks fully this time <laughs> you don't say it hasn't changed since yesterday Where'd you even get all this stuff? This thing's weird. Oh god, here we are. This is the Gaston version of Prince Vincent. I mean, Prince Vincent's version of Gaston. And Beth is, you know, Belle. You smell funny. With the kids, I have no idea. How charming. <laughs> the children, how charming. That is no way to address your future king. Or your future queen. <laughs> <coughs> sorry, I'm just sorry. <laughs> yeah, all your bitch clean. Rib much. Why did you go play? <laughs> okay, Miss Beth. Bye, Miss Beth. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, seriously. Yeah, the whole flattery thing that is so Gaston slash Prince Vincent. This fine morning. I'm doing well, sire. What brings you back to my cottage so soon? Dear sweet Eliza, how many times do I have to tell you just call me Vincent? <laughs> I do believe that would be indecent, Your Majesty. <laughs> Most definitely, yeah. This is so, so weird. Do I really need a reason? Can't I just come to see the most beautiful lady in all of Morrowood? You flatter me, sir. Yeah, I'll be so flattered, but I'm not interested, <laughs> literally. Oh yeah, I recognize the paint job. Thank you. That is so good. Hello Studios. I recognize that vest thingy at anywhere. I'm guessing the I'm guessing the um Yeah, so I'm guessing those red sweaters or whatever that was painted on. Yeah, that is going to be reference to uh, the goons that Prince Vincent worked with as as the foo. I've heard it from Prince Vincent countless times before. You see, Vincent had a younger brother once. Prince Aaron. 
He was brutally murdered one night in his bedchambers. For a mysterious beast had broken into the castle. Oh, sorry about that, guys. I'm so sorry. That's gonna happen every once in a while when I do reaction videos. So sorry about that. Nobody knows what the beast was or where it came from. Only that it killed young Aaron and vanished without a trace. God, all these sets are so awesome, most of all. Some say the beast was a creature of magic, and others believe it to be a ghost. Still, Vincent spends every week. I'm pretty sure my set will be just as good when my Doctor Wu series comes around. Just as good as this. But if the story is true, if there really is a beast out there. I'm certain it's long gone by now. Whoa. I don't know what this is. I don't know if this is animation or what, but it looks so good. Oh my god, go away with notifications. So just this, just I got this obsessed with this app and everything, so I take a little bit of a break from it. It's called Magic Kingdoms and oh my god. Whoa, this is so well done. Like literally. I don't know how Hollow Studios did it. I don't know where she got her talent from, but it's so so good. Like, literally. And I thought I was good at creating things, but not as good as what this is. Like, this is, like, insane. <laughs> Extraordinary magic. Oh, yeah, I think this is going to be a work of, um, up here's crazy, or should I say, Mr. Crazy Ray. Oh, yeah, I believe he did the thumbnails of the, um, of the other series, Soul Bond. And they look so, so good. I think that one better than the, than the old ones. Yeah, I don't know if this has got to do with green screen, but it looks amazing. Hmm. <gasps> oh god, Paw Print has been spotted. Why am I hearing about this now? Captain, is what they say true? Yes, sire. Well, n no, sire. Make up your mind, then! I'm sorry. I'm he's sorry. like, it feels like he's surrounded by idiots. <laughs> We're civil age. Do you know how long I've been looking for this monster? I have to kill it. I need to kill it. For my poor dear brother Aaron, I must avenge his death. Might it be in vain? Yeah, well, good luck with that. I won't stop until I have its head on a stake. I definitely like the designs and everything, although I still find it a little bit odd, you know, about the pupils and stuff in the LPS's eyes, but I think it still looks pretty good, even I do find it a little bit weird. The beast must be more active at night. We stake out at dusk. Well, I don't know where exactly where she got her talent from, but seriously, if there's a guy won her talent, like, oh my god. The beast is here in Morrowood? You heard yeah, that's gotta be LPS Lover's voice. As the husky or or something, or works. German Shepherd. Especially for dear Beth, she lives in the spine. Don't worry. I think that's LPS Natalie. Lived in those woods yeah, I think Natalie. I think she so plays quite a few of the fun. characters. And uh, who that I think she's besties uh, with um Hello Studios, like in best of, uh, with um Festival Films. Festival Films, if you're watching this, yeah, she's my absolute bestie, and so are all my other friends of LPS too that I've met. Whether you quit or not, I still love you guys so, so much. I can see every single last one of you, my friend, even though we don't get in contact or anything. I actually got some of these accessories. Just the wind. Because I've seen it being used so many times with the surveillance families, it's so so good to use. Oh. Those are the kids, Arthur and Molly. Molly, Arthur, what are you children doing here? Don't you know what time it is? We were playing out in the woods, but it got dark so quickly, so we thought they heard the bees. Yeah, and Molly got scared to walk back alone. I wasn't scared though. Yeah, you should be a knight Arthur. <laughs> you get it? As a knight, as in King Arthur or something, knight Arthur. Come 
Come with me then, children. Let's get you back home. Stay beside me now. Well, how much make this so real? It's thick as beyond me. Just look at that. Just look at that. That is so good. Well, this is gonna do something with green screening or something. It looks so so good. Maybe it's something to do with Photoshop? I don't know what all this is. It's just so good. Severed, bleeding out on the forest floor. Oh god, so much. That's really too much. Explaining blood. You know what sounds good right about now? Lamb chops. <coughs> <coughs> Gregory, you simple-minded fool. Oh boy. Buttered biscuits, rice pudding, maple's cherry sauce, on some Flat, flat bread. You, you imbeciles! Out on the floor. <laughs> I'm suggesting the exact same thing. Sire, news from the Falcon Hollow. A trap has been set off. What? Are you certain it's a beast? I... I can't be certain. I've never heard such a screeching from a living creature before. Come on then, men! Let's rid this land of the vile creature once and for all! For my reward! <laughs> Oh god, if I saw a beast, I'll be freaking out right now. Bye, Mr. Thanks for protecting Molly. You can't stay indoors now. <sighs> oh god, it's scary. <laughs> Even if I out hurts or if I tweets, it can still be pretty sc scary at night. <laughs> so I got a little bit of a cold here. I'm all good. Oh, Beth, why do you have to be such a coward? Oh, no, I I'm not a coward. Well, maybe just the slightest bit, but there is no beast. At least, not anymore. I'm going to get home safely and enjoy my tea, just like every other night. Yep. Nothing to worry Besides, about. I know these words like the back of my paw. Nothing here is going to spook me. <sighs> oh god, what was that? What was that? Oh my god, that would have been quite a tumble. <coughs> I'm sorry, what? Oh my god. That's the beast. God, imagine making LPS out of that. I'm pretty impressed. Oh my god, poor thing. Uh oh. Might as well do something! They're gonna kill him! It doesn't seem so scary. Oh my god. Whoa. If I was up that close, I'd be like freaking out right now, just staring in the space, just like this. Uh oh, here they come. <laughs> it just keeps on screaming. 
<laughs> what the actual hell? Oh. Wait, stopping? I was told there was a beast here, William. A stinky, stinky smelly, nasty beast. So where is it? Well, uh, I do believe beforehand I had specified there might be one. <laughs> oh, sure, yeah. You had no idea where it was and what. Absolutely horrendous! Peter, how can you look at that gruesome sight so calmly? Yeah, that is just weird. Why don't we be so calm about it? Good reason why I shouldn't slice that shrew Little head of yours on the spot for this incompetence! I'm, I'm <laughs> oh my god. We don't need to resort to such a violence. Uh, certainly the, the beast couldn't have a... <laughs> yeah. Where is it? Did it grow little wings and fly away like a little bird? Yeah, it didn't have any wings, so it's actually on foot sort of creature. Mm. Uh, Peter, uh, put that 169Q to good use, eh? Perhaps this way, sire. Uh, foliage does have a subtle way of pointing a direction. Whoa. God, poor thing. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh god, they're gonna track that part. It's bleeding. I'm about to clip the mess. Oh my god. It's having a spaz. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. This never happened in Beauty and the Beast. I can't believe that's LPS Cobo as Spine. I love you, man. Oh my god. Oh god, I'm really coughing today. Hello? Oh my god. And knocked over the T. So I'm guessing it's only triggered when he's all, yeah, angry and stuff with his emotions. Technically, I think mostly are negative emotions. As I'm sorry for any spoilers if any of you guys are, haven't watched this before. So I'm so sorry for the spoilers. I just couldn't help myself. Yeah, so Hello Studios, if you're watching this, or if any of you guys are Hello Studios as fans, yeah, I wanted to do this stuff for Hello Studios. I know she's not hosting a contest or anything, but I just wanted to do something nice for her. Uh oh. Oh god, this is not good. Elizabeth, open this door. Sire, what are you doing here at this time of night? Have you heard anything unusual? Seen anything strange? Oh god. Strange, sire. Please say no. I'm tired of chasing shadows all night. Quiet. How cruel you are, Peter. Oh. <laughs> How cruel you are, Peter. Beast is around this area. Oh, okay. If you see anything suspicious, you come to me. The beast? Here. In He's very woods. Um. Come with me back to the palace where no sickening, ugly, and rather slippery monsters will be able to find you. Mm, I wouldn't be so <laughs> sure of that. What was that? Though your offer is thoughtful, my place is here. I can still smell its blood, it's so fresh in my mind. Oh boy. It's like it's even stronger. Uh oh. Oh, oh no, I think. Oh, yes, but. Uh, 
And so I love the mixed breed with um uh, right then. with Prince Vincent. It's half Dutch hound and yes, yeah, so it's half Dutch hound and half Great Dane. I still find it a little bit weird though. How unfortunate for you. I know quite well back up here as Honey did it for a video, but I still find it a little bit strange mixing up V and then mix up breeds. Maybe I could sleep for a few hours, wake up for a bit, and then sleep for weeks. I'll find you yet, Fulamin. I was really desperate to kill the beast. Oh god, this is not gonna be good. Guys, look at how detailed all that is. It looks so amazing. Absolutely. Yeah, the camera angles are definitely on point, most definitely, I'm not gonna lie. And yeah, the pictures and stuff looks pretty good. Yeah, maybe I show up. I should probably put a little bit more effort to into my sets more often. Well, I am with Dr. Wooves, literally. If you guys haven't seen the teaser trailer, be sure to check it out. It is on the main part of my channel. I literally like the home page. Oh, he's uh, he's awake. Yep. He's awake. And there's the door. Yeah, and yeah, also on point with the sound effects as well in the story. This isn't the first thing I watched that was based off Beauty and the Beast. Yeah, there was um, yeah, there's really good audio drama and stuff for, that I watched with MLP and it's called uh, Bride of Discord and Daughter of Discord. And that was like based off Beauty and the Beast. Well, Bride of Discord was. And it's so, so good. Yeah, I think the beast actually had a real name. I think it's King Edward, I think. I'm not 100% certain what the real beast's name is. Can, can you understand me? No, it's looking at the table. You must be hungry. Fish? Please. So, you don't have a name then, or you don't remember? No knife and fork. Well, I can't go around calling you the beast. Yeah, that makes a major spoiler. <laughs> something temporary, like, like Noah. No? Uh, okay, um, Romeo. Um, no. <laughs> Romeo and Juliet. No, it's not. How about Spine? After the woods. Spine it is then. Good. Good. Uh, well, I suppose my next question would be... Um... Are you the beast that killed Prince Aaron? Oh, no. Oh, dear God, no. Aaron? Yeah, Prince Aaron, oh God. I wouldn't, I wouldn't. 
wouldn't. I, I wouldn't. I wouldn't. I don't. I, I can't remember. Please. I wouldn't hurt anyone. So I'm guessing worry as well. I think also make him into what the beast. And he's a whining dog sound effect for this. I don't think anyone's used that. Oh yeah, that's spinal right. Does is that normal? Does that happen often or or only when you get worked up? So how can she understand him? That is Maybe she studied lots of language. Okay. Studied lots of languages. I'll help you figure this out. How long have you been a beast? Okay. 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 back in the base's library. I don't know the beast. This. I've never seen anything like you before. Whoa, what's it about the insects? Must be some sort of collector or studier of insects. Mm -hmm. It's probably just for decoration. Cursed. You must be cursed. Have you ever encountered a witch? Drank some sort of potion? Definitely encountered a witch for sure. Oh, oh right. Can't remember. Sorry. But why not would he go to a witch? Well, my knowledge of curses is limited, but there is a remedy here. Yes, I just need to find all these ingredients. Oh dear. Well, actually, I added the text into the book, so it's pretty cool. I mean, I just put scribbly lines on black paper, on blank paper. the spine for some of these rarer ones. Look here. If you drink the potion in the light of the blue moon, the spell will be lifted, and your curse will be gone. Blue moon. Blue moon. It appears once every hundred years. Whoa. Let's not give up yet. Let me just see when the next one will appear. Mm. Um, Is it something the ground is that he wants to eat someone? <laughs> what luck. Tomorrow night. A blue moon. The first in a century. So for the inconvenience, guys, it got cut off. Majority of that time, just to brew. Oh no, Mabel! Mabel, is that you? Give me one moment. Good. Our personality is really good at her voice acting. Oh no! Oh god, that was a close one. What a surprise to see you here. Yeah. Oh, yum snacks. Every noon. Gee, do you need some special herbs of yours to spark up that memory again? Uh, I, I believe it was. Um. Um. Ginkgo leaf, yes. Your wit is as sharp as ever. <laughs> yeah, no point. Is that hip bothering you again? My hips are as right it's as rain. rain. I was just dropping by to check in you weren't eaten by the beast yet. <laughs> Beast? Oh, what beast? I don't, I don't see a beast. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there's no beast in this in this house. Yeah, I'll be like literally lying through my teeth because, well, I'm too honest. I just spill the truth. I just spill the truth that much. Should have come to my brunch this morning. Oh, how kind of you, Mabel. <laughs> you really didn't have to come all this way just for that. Who else is going to feed you, little lady? You're practically all skin and bones under that corset. <laughs> skin and bones, seriously? Changed, Beth. They like a little extra meat on their women. I'm mm -hmm. sure you're right, Mabel. Yeah. Well, I'd love to stay and gossip about Because very biscuits. I really do like the sound of that. Brunch, but I'd have to head I know back down on sweets. I'm prepare for this marvelous new recipe for my dinner party this evening. Uh oh. <laughs> No, 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 don't go in that room. Noises. Miss Beth, 
do you have some sort of strange critter living in your walls? Oh. Uh, um, what? <laughs> no, I've got nothing. Nothing. That's just, those are just um pipes. Yeah, pipes. To be what they used to, but I know a ruckus when I hear one. It was somewhere over here. Mabel, don't you have that dinner party to prepare for? Yeah. We should get ahead of that midday sun. Uh, child. Uh, Picking uh, my interest more with your yammering. Uh -huh. No, don't open that! No! Uh -huh. No, don't open that! Mm. Oh my god. That, that is a really, really good um, way to end the episode. Like, no, don't open that! Like, really? Story by Hello Studios. Written by Moonjay, Natalie, and Blue Dragon Warrior. Oh, wow. Starring Hello Studios, etc. Yeah. <laughs> wow. Assisted by LPS Natalie. Cousin Bit of Hello Studios. I think one of these were done by, um, I think it was done by Festival Films, I think with the mother and the father, I didn't even realise. Whoa, well, all these artworks look amazing. Oh yeah, I think it's LPS Maeve, I think, I think they did this one. I don't know if I'm pronouncing your name right, but your art looks amazing. Oh uh, yeah, I was aware of the contest thingy. Yeah, I think it was like some sort of contest and then chose, you know, who will be the best one and then, yeah, turned out to be this one. Oh god. Oh god. Makes me want, you know, makes me want my skin to crawl. Oh, that's Molly. It's so cute! Oh my god, I wish I got upward done like this for me like all the time. It's so so amazing. It's... <sighs> it's bedtime behind the chair. And Oh, this festival film's his name. Please submit artwork and uh, story magic on Instagram or YouTube. Thanks for watching. Whoa, just look at all these guys. This is so amazing. No wonder everyone loves Hollow Studios and her work. I think she chose the right time to come back since LPS2 is technically dying. I think it's fading a lot more faster than before because I lost some of the most greatest uh, st YouTubers or should I say LPS tubers. Oh look, it's the necklace from um, Soul Bond. Please subscribe. Wait, is that Harry Potter writing up top? It says Hello Studios. Looks like it. Whoa, that was absolutely amazing. So, I hope you guys have all enjoyed that, and also Hello Studios, and LPS Natalie, and whoever was involved in this project, if you guys are watching, um, I appreciate every single last one of you that put so much effort into making Hello Studios' this project come true, and I hope they'll end up the same and everything for my series for Dr. Wooves in the future, so yeah. So yeah. I might every single last one, one of you guys that actually put so much effort to make Hello Studios' um, project come true and yeah, it makes me want to feel a little bit more inspired again, especially with bigger channels and stuff than mine. But I'm so glad there's still some other YouTubers and stuff that are out there that are LPS tubers that are still trying to fight to try and keep this community alive and I'm doing the exact same thing as well. Yeah, so as I said before, the time that this video comes out, I think it's been like a month or so since I since I recorded this because like I said I want to try and stay ahead of my schedule as best as I can so I can have more time to myself and stuff like that so yeah so I hope you guys all enjoyed this reaction video I know I didn't 
much of it because well i didn't know what to say but i did react and everything so yeah if you guys have any suggestions of of what lps or mlp yeah video and stuff you want me to uh, um react to well um be sure to put them in the comments below so there isn't a magnet that's not made for kids because well according to with Hollow studios it does have blood and everything it's not recommended for children so yeah so anyways i hope you guys have a great day or night and i'll see you guys in my next video bye